Hello everyone, Lego here and welcome to the channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to finish the mission or the quest called The Purge. Um, that is basically completing the Atlas path um, which started with the Artemis uh, missions and uh, this happens after you've traveled um, to different galaxies I think it's 16 times in order to get all your glyphs so let me quickly show you um, where you can see that so you go here on the catalog and on portal glyphs when you start out if you haven't discovered any glyphs from past travelers you will have maybe only one or none and when you get to this point you have 16 of 16. when you get to that stage you will get the final atlas portal um, waypoint and then you can basically come here to activate this portal which will take you to the final atlas interface now the first very important tip I have for you at this stage is to not take your primary ship that's heavily upgraded like this one of mine because what happens is once you've completed and reset the, the atlas or the world um, if you choose to do that um, then all your technology gets damaged so your exosuit suit technology will get damaged or a lot of it your starship technology will be get get damaged and your multi-tool so it's going to be a lot of repairs but if you take a, a basic ship that doesn't have so much technology or that you don't use all the time then it's just so much less to repair so i'm gonna quickly do that and just get one of my other basic ships here and then so you don't have to come to the portal with that ship all you need to do is make this your primary ship so you, you port it in and when you get into it your primary ship has been changed as you can see now there we go and i only have one piece of technology here okay two if you count the teleport receiver so it's not going to be such an issue if this ship has to be repaired and then what i want to just do before i go back to that one again to just get some of these resources because we need to have enough stuff to re actually do some repairs with so I know I'm gonna need some of these um, hopefully yeah, gonna need some carbon and all of that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly activate the portal glyphs while I still have the inventory of my main ship because that's where all my stuff is in so it's not a lot but you need quite a lot of things different resources elements and things to recharge or charge all of these glyphs so just gonna go through all of that quickly there we go now it's activated so I'm gonna activate hopefully this works quickly go switch my primary starship before I actually go into the portal. I hope that works, otherwise I'll have to redo it. Let's quickly see if I can make this my primary ship. Yeah, cool. So primary ship switched. Just double check. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And now we can step into the portal. Okay, I've cut some of it out, but that's quite a long portal trip, to be honest. It was almost 30 seconds. Um, I don't know if it's shorter if your computer loads faster, but I think it's just a very long portal. So you'll temporarily be on this strange world, 
where you can discover a few things, scan a few elements, and before long you will just be automatically teleported out. Seems like there's a kind of a countdown timer that's going on there. Right? Holographic comms tower. This world is... Oh, it doesn't even say. It's just a little bit. I immediately noticed when I got here is if you think back all the previous interfaces you visited there was these round orbs on these pedestals that if you walked over them taught you new um, atlas languages now notice that this is not in this one this final one there's no new ones to learn I don't know if it's that's because we're gonna learn everything instantly now or if it's just because it's the final interface but that's immediately something that I noticed when I got to this final interface so without any further ado let's go to the final interface and previously on these pillars she would have come out and then I think it was um, also some resources or something that you could get um, but that's also not in this final interface so then we have to enter in this into this final dialogue there's not much else you can do but cry out I think it's five times you have to do it Once that is done, so it's six cries, and I'm going to choose to stand ground. See, it says I understand, so maybe you don't need to learn the language anymore. And it says that it's still just 16 minutes left, so I don't know what happened all the time that you've played between the first time that you got the first lift and you, the time that you got the 16th one. In my case, it's several weeks of play. So, if you ask if there's another way, it just basically says no. No other way. Now, I will put a description in the comments uh, and a link to the site where you can actually go read up on the no Man's Sky and Wiki exactly know what each choice can do, but just for basic information for now, you can either refuse or reset. If you refuse, this mission basically goes away, um, and then in order to reactivate it, apparently you have to go all the way to the center of the galaxy. Now that can take several months of play, unless you're lucky with getting very close with a black hole or something. But in my case, I'm more than 600,000 light years from the center. So even though I can jump about 800 to 1,000 per jump, I mean, that's more than 600 jumps before I'll reach this, the center. But maybe in your case, you're much closer and then it won't be that difficult. So I'm not going to go for that option. I'm going to reset. then it disappears you get this new title unlocking for the last and then you have one of three choices the red which is a harsh world the green which is um, flourish a flourishing there's different names but you see when you read up in 
a link that I will post. In this case, they call it a burning galaxy. But that's like a harsh world. And the green is inspiring. A lot of resources, etc. I think that's the one I'll go for. The blue, which is ancestral, or another name is empty. So you'll find a lot of empty worlds with no life on that. And then finally is a parallel or a normal. So that is more or less like what you've been playing in at the moment. Um, or mostly. But yeah, I mean, you get harsh and all those kind of galaxies. So I'm going to choose this one. The flourishing or inspiring one. And important to note at this stage is you will be able to visit previous galaxies or planets where you have bases. I will try to do that when I'm done. Uh, but according to what I've read up, that's possible. And um, But I don't think you'll be able to explore the other pieces anymore. But you can go visit your old bases. So let's reset. Then you get this very long zoom out. It's almost like when you start the game, you go forward and it's this zoom into the center. Now it's almost like a zoom out. It seems like there's some kind of action going on there in the in the core. Going through all the types of galaxies if you watch the colors changing. This is yeah, this is quite a, a long portion that you have to sit through that you can't do anything and just wait while it resets apparently. So yeah, I won't cut any of this out. You can jump forward to the video in the video if you don't want to sit through this, but I'm gonna leave it in case you wanna see what happens and how long it takes to zoom out. And there is apparently a new one forming. Now we're going back. Now what I w don't know is if it will be possible to reach the new galactic core of this galaxy or what will happen. And then suddenly we are on an unknown planet, like you've probably experienced before when you go through these portals. We're about 500 units away from your ship, and everything is critically damaged. Nothing works. Oh. And then you unlock the Remembrance. Now the Remembrance, if you don't know, will enable you to behind Atlas Pass 3 doors there's sometimes a terminal that you need a remembrance to activate and this is the main reason why i actually finished this the purge path because i i want to see what happens and what you can do with this remembrance i hope it was worth everything so i'll make a new video about that that i will link in this one yeah that was my main goal with this whole mission to get that remembrance Now I see to make the remembrance, you need what they call, let's just get there, C, 
see if I can find it here. There was something like a, a galaxy, yeah. And I don't know if I have that, so I'll, I'll see how how to actually make that remembrance now when we get there. But anyways, as you can see, like I said, all your technology is damaged. Luckily, nothing in your technology terminal. So if you've got a better exosuit than me, put all your technology under the technology tab because only the ones in your general inventory gets damaged unfortunately i don't have such a big technology inventory yet and your starship same story everything in technology is okay but the rest is damaged okay so just that you can see and then multi-tool obviously i only have general there so everything is damaged and you can see it takes quite a bit of resources to fix up everything. Now we gotta get back to the ship. So this is what your starship looks like. Well, mine is floating in the air. When you get back, as you can see a lot of damage. And this is why I didn't use my primary one. Sort that out now. And then oh, that iteration has been deleted. I wonder maybe in this new iteration that you created maybe the sentinels will not bug you anymore that will be interesting to see <laughs> 